Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video here on my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. This is going to be a video talking about PLA printing. We're going to look at some ASA parts and we're going to also look at uh, some PETG parts. So I want to say that this printer is um, so far really, really excellent. I'm really enjoying this printer. It's saving me a lot of time and it's great to have in my stable of printers. It's just a no-brainer printer that I can just send a file to and know it will come out perfect every single time. It's nice to have one printer that you can rely on. And I wanted to showcase an aspect of this printer that is very important, probably the most important part about a 3D printer, and that is accuracy and um, how well the printer is calibrated and in this case, how well it can calibrate itself. So I have a project here that I've had for about a year and a half and I've never got around to finish it. Um, I started building it with a subpar printer, a Tronxy X5SA, and it was fine for printing out the mechanical or the uh, body parts and things like that. But it's a very involved project and you have to have a very dialed in 3D printer. So if we look down here, I have a 3D Sets Land Rover Defender. So this is a 3D printed remote control rock crawler. Um, I think it's one tenth scale uh, rock crawler. Um, very cool project. Uh, I'm very interested in rock crawling and remote control cars and stuff like that. I have been for a long time. And 3D printing is an excellent um, addition to that hobby. So I purchased this Land Rover Defender, like I say, about a year and a half ago, and I printed out most of the body panels and things like that, and I did print out a gearbox. And it was very time consuming to print out the transmission for this because you have to dial in your printer so perfectly and not only have good print quality, but accuracy. And that's something that I think uh, we need to talk about with the Bamboo Lab X1 is if it calibrates the flow itself and all that kind of stuff, how good is the calibration and how usable is the printer for these kind of projects? So what I've done here is I've actually printed out the um, differentials for this and Again, this printer is just absolutely incredible for anyone who wants to use it for a project of this nature. So we can see here the um, front differential housing and not only are these parts exceptionally clean, but more importantly, they are absolutely 100% accurate. This printer is calibrated perfectly. You can see this bearing here and these bearings just press in perfect, not too tight, not too loose, they just work. And this is a very important part about this printer that I think people should be aware of is how accurate it is, especially for people who want to print out mechanical parts and large projects that have multiple printed parts that have to work together. So again, Print quality is very important. You can see the actual gears here for the front differential. These need to be accurate and they need to be clean. As well as this part needs to be very dimensionally accurate. So these bearings on either side fit together perfectly. These are 100% infill parts. They printed out nice, they stuck to the bed perfectly, and they just work. Same thing here with the actual drive shafts. These are two printed parts that have to fit together. And I had printed these out with the brim just so that they didn't fail, but these parts actually fit together perfectly. I don't have any issues with these going together. I never sanded them or anything like that. And the print time for this actual uh, plate of uh, parts here was eight hours. If this wasn't accurate, this would be a big time waste um, for all these parts that didn't fit together. So these were all printed in a Polymaker PLA and 
the printer, I let it calibrate its flow and I printed out the parts and they just work. So that's a big aspect, probably the most important aspect of a printer, especially when you're print spending this much money is it has to be very accurate. And the Bamboo Lab printer does do what it says. It does calibrate flow very, very well. And all of these parts fit together perfectly. So I really wanted to stress that. I want to mention that. Um, I think it's maybe a potential piece of this printer that is overlooked. And the 3D sets model is perfect for that. And I'll probably do a little bit more videos on my channel about this model as I finish it off. Um, I'm waiting for some M2 hardware here to finish off these uh, differentials. And I will be printing out the transmission and kind of finishing up this project. So let's take a look here at some ABS prints. I have designed, uh, of course, if you're um, a subscriber to my channel, I have designed a cross gantry printer and all of the parts on it are ABS. So I have been using the X1 a lot for ABS parts. And this printer is very, very good at printing ABS. You can see the first layer here. It's literally glass. Um, I have not had a print failure on this printer. Doesn't matter what material I've been using, PLA, ABS, PETG, ASA, they, they all print perfectly fine. Um, the parts come out. Now these are printed very fast, um, probably a bit faster than what uh, ABS really wants to be printed at. You can see there's a little bit of ringing, but these are mechanical parts. They're not um, aesthetic, so I don't care too much. And these are parts that I've designed. Um, all the holes are very clean and ABS, these are ultra strong. Uh, the printer likes to print these at 270 degrees and they print out excellently. The support material by default comes off with no problems whatsoever. So let's look at a little bit more intricate part here. This is one of my um, carriages here for my cross gantry printer. And you can see here how actual nice this prints. Everything is really, really accurate. Everything works together nice. Even parts that I designed that shouldn't print well with a brim um, or bridging, I should say. And uh, even it even managed just fine with something like this. Uh, like I say, this this is just a really nice printer for printing ABS. I've not had any problems and I designed and printed an entire printer using the X1. So here's some more ABS parts here. Again, really, really nice and clean, accurate, and no print failures. These are printed in a Polymaker ABS Blue. Here's another print here. So again, these were printed at just the default uh, 0.2 layer height, like 300 millimeters a second. And um, I think this is actually a piece here. Yeah, there were supports. And they just, I took a pair of pliers and pulled it right out. Worked out really, really well. And then the final uh, part here, just a smaller part. So again, this is the X1 has been an excellent printer for me. I can always count on it for parts that I need quick so that I can finish a build. Another really great part about this printer is PETG printing or PTG. If anyone you know, uh, PTG can be challenging to print, especially print quick, and it's very, very prone to stringing. So here are some printed parts here from, um, I initially built my cross gantry printer with some PTG because I had a full spool of it. And again, I cannot believe how well this printed. Again, this, I never changed the speed of this printer. This printed at two to 300 millimeters a second and there's no stringing whatsoever. This is exactly how it came off the build plate. Like this is really, really amazing. And yeah, there are some ringing and things like that because this is just printed insanely fast, but everything worked really, really well. I assembled the entire printer out of PETG first and I had no issues with any of the parts that came off. Here's some more parts here. Again, um, very, very fast print speed. 
First layer is always excellent. The supports for PTG can be a little bit harder to come off, but they still come off very, very uh, easily. Not quite as easy as ABS, but... Here's uh, the hot end here from one of my older printers, the Band and Cross. You can see there's some uh, support material, support material here, and again, it came off fine. Not as good as ABS, but it did come off fine. All my bearings always fit in here perfectly, no problems whatsoever with that. So yeah, I, I wanted to really showcase um, PETG. It can be a challenging uh, material to print quickly. And what is most impressive is no stringing. And again, this is Polymaker PETG. And uh, all my ABS and PETG were printed on the engineering side of the build plate. And I've had no issues with it whatsoever. I have reapplied my bamboo uh, cold plate sticker. So here's some more PLA prints here for my um, uh, 3D Sets Rock Crawler. So I, I really like the cold plate for the fact that it prints technically cold at 30 degrees. So um, I'm impatient, so I want to get the parts off as soon as they finish, and I can just take the build plate out. It's cold, essentially, and I can take the parts off of it, and I can queue up another print, especially for a project where I'm trying to get this thing finished finally after a year and a half. So, again, uh, this printer is very, very, very exceptional with printing pretty much everything I've thrown at it. I do want to do a final video here with TPU. Um and kind of showcase off that but otherwise there's not a whole lot more to say about this printer it just works um, i do not have the ams i'm just talking about the actual uh x1 carbon and it prints out just perfectly uh, i will eventually probably try some like um, carbon fiber nylon and maybe some stuff like that and i'll make some update videos on that but if you want a printer that can print out PETG reliably or PLA for intricate models like this or ABS, again, uh, the Bamboo Lab X1 is just a no-brainer. So if anyone has any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them below. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Uh, you can support me on Patreon. I'll have it in my description. And feel free to join my Discord. I have a Bamboo Lab X1 channel on my Discord. I have a couple members on there that also have X1 printers. So... Feel free to join there if you want to ask questions and that type of thing. Thanks again, everyone.